Now, as you guys can see, because this is actually a voiceover, we're on on. I think it's Oslo Drive right now. And as you can see, I'm on Google Maps. And this was around the area where E.B. Bands' body was found. And as you can see, it says Indian Head Avenue. And I don't know what the hell I was doing when I was... Uh, I should have been doing a voiceover during this screen recording, but I, I wasn't. So I had the damn mic off. So as you can see, I'm panning around right now. And this is a cul-de-sac, as you can see. Only a few houses. This is like a dead end. So I'm going to spin back around again. And I show the sign that says Indian Head Avenue. And the next street over is Oslo, right here. We're going to turn in this direction over here. And as you see, there's some workers on this street. We're going to slowly go down. Some guys throwing up the peace sign or something like that. I guess. I don't know. And we're going to turn it towards these. It's like a little wooded area there. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a little wooded area there. But as we turn back down and go back down towards this direction here, right, which is the cul-de-sac at the end of Indian Head Avenue, this is where I'm thinking Vance's body was, uh, was found at. In this area here. That's exactly where I think it was at. That wooded area back there, there's a lot of woods back there. So at the beginning of this video, I showed the people on Google Maps the area. So they got to see the little cul-de-sac. You know what I'm saying? On the corner of Oslo, Indian Head Avenue, where the workers were working at, and the particular area that I think that his body was possibly placed at. Now you saw that. Does it look anything like you thought it would have looked or anything? Nah, man. Like, I thought it was at least going to be like a... Um... You know how, like, on roads, they got, like, the metal railing on the side of the road? Oh, my. And Matthew, over that, Matthew. I had no fucking clue. Oh, this my like God. Like, this dude then said exactly what I thought. I'm thinking that his deck, you can see a metal railing. Yeah. And if you hop that metal railing, it's a little bit of a steep hill going to slide yeah, in woods. where the woods is. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Tell me that's not what you Yeah, th because Rockford is a city. It's not, like, very country. Right. It kinda, I mean, that is in, that's insane you thought the same thing I thought. So, like, I, I mean, I just kind of thought how I thought. Like, that's kind of how my area is. I mean, we live in, like, I mean, it's country, but we live in the city part. You know, right. that's what we have, like, metal railings and stuff remember, like that. Remember, when we, remember when we stayed in Crabapple Lane, when you go up that road, there's that, metal, that railing on the side? And like you kind of can slide into the area there. That's how. That's oh, how don't I, get me wrong. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of places to hide motherfuckers out of there. But it was just strange to me. I was just thinking, like, where the fuck is this guy? Where did they put him at? And um, you know, like one thing that always comes in my head is the like the the very the sloppiness of this hit. Right. Cause, like this seemed like some. I was talking to Dark Cloud earlier about this. It seems more like mafia style. Right. You know what I mean? E or mafia style. And I'm not saying the mafia, like, it was like the Mexican mafia. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying, like, it seemed like they watched a movie or something. or Because what they tried to do was very weird. They beat him with a bat. And they tried to burn. Like, these guys are weird, bro. You better off just burn that's burying them. And the area looked relatively nice, yeah, too. Yeah, it was a pretty nice, co I mean, it's a cul-de-sac, nice area. But that had nothing to do with the, what, where they put the body. I feel like it was a very poor place to put it at. Right. Strange how they did that. And what, if I'm, what I'm hearing, it says that Manuel Ramirez is the one that led police to the body. Yeah. Well, what I, what what I is know is the girl, well, one of their girlfriends told police what happened. You know, it's weird. You got a bitch supposed to be down the ride for you. She told, she's, uh, damn, that's crazy. And I guess the police were led to him. And they knew he did it. There has something to do with it. But why would you show him where the body was? I guess... I don't well, know, man. He, he's a snitch. He's the one that... He's went, a snitch. He's the one that's getting locked up for concealment of the body, right? Yeah. Maybe they told him, okay, we're not going to charge you with but he's murder. he's actually out right They're now. not going to charge you with murder if you tell us where the body is. That's probably what happened. You know, because he's only charged with concealment of the body, even though he didn't conceal shit. He was involved in first-degree murder, though. Yeah, but I mean, no, man. Like, they have to, like, throw you a bone 
you know, so you can make fetch. You no, know I mean? maybe that's just the difference between North Carolina, because here they yeah. ain't no bones like that. We nah, don't get we don't uh, get no bones uh, like that. They ain't like that. We just don't that get shit that. That shit'll go unsolved before yeah. they give you something. Yeah. That's how it is. Over there, I don't know, I guess. Maybe it's, so it's just rare. because it's so strict yeah. here. Yeah. It's gotta yeah, be. Yeah. It's so strict here. Over here, like they literally never let heard that murder like. go unsolved before they just give you any type of deal. Exactly. They don't do things like that here. Unless it's some real high profile Oh, if you tell on this drug law, we'll give you immunity. Something like that. But a case like this, hell no. Where you, where, where you got a, uh, uh, like one of the worst deaths for any rapper ever. Like I want somebody in the comment section to type up, who was murdered worse than this, though? I don't know. Every rapper, all death is bad. I'm just saying in general, like this was horrible. This was worse than anybody ever could have thought. Some motherfucker was saying he was on the run. I debunked that theory early on. Because how are you on the run and people are looking for you? Like, no, if you were on the run, people would have been told so they wouldn't put up want it or, or help me find bands. Why would you want the world looking for you while you're on the run? That's clear. Well, remember, though, I man. I knew that. He wasn't Matthew, on the remember, run. though, man. We dismissed that very early. We dismissed him. I debunked that theory very, very early. When we, his mom we came saying, out, we had been saying from the very out, beginning. His mom and his manager would not have been that vocal. Yeah. If he was on the run. He would have told key people so they wouldn't have put... Like, they wouldn't have went to the police about it. They they went to the cops about this. Bro, the cops were involved, I was getting so much hate on one of my early videos. Mm -hmm. This was before people really got, like, you know, really looking at my channel or anything like that. And I was one of the few people that were saying, hey, my man's dead. Yeah, I know for a fact I mean, he's dead. I, and people just did not want to hear that. I mean, they said, oh, you're an man. idiot. He's on the run. Nah, he's on the run. He had pride and stuff like that. I'm like, not dude, that run, man, man is dead. Not bro. on the run. His mom came out. His manager came out. There was no way he was on the run. Exactly. He no way he was on the run. He would have let his mom know what was up. He would, yeah, because she went to the police, bro. Like, of course he was not on the run. She went to the police about it. And, bro. You don't want the world looking for you while you're on the run. That's the last thing you want. Absolutely not. You do not want the world looking you for know, you. You know, that's the last thing you want, bro. You, like, you don't want everybody to be looking for you. Like, you, you're the only one that stayed quiet. You're the only one that knows you're on the run. And you want to think you're missing your I'm dead. very disgusted about how people have just given up on this case. Yeah. They said, oh, well... Ain't nobody watching no more. I'm going to stop making videos. Yeah. That's why you were doing this for? You were doing this just to get attention? That was all you were doing this for? Because notice nobody else is talking about it no more. They, yeah, they, they walked away from it. Harsh, EB bands Jesus, was not that's, that's, that's an A-list celebrity. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. He wasn't even an A-list Chicago celebrity. We reported on this due to the fact that how weird it was. Exactly. And it was strange and it happened. Y'all are doing it for a whole I, different reason. I just, which makes I, no me sense, personally, man. me personally, man. I just, fake as hell. I man. have to report certain news. Yeah. Period. Like if I hear something and I feel like I want to get some information out there, listen. Y'all don't have to come to me for the news. Exactly. There was a lot of other people out there doing this reporting the news as well. So y'all could just ignore my channel and go on elsewhere. Like you don't have to come to me for anything. People, a lot, the people that stuck around were the people that wanted to hear, you know, what we had to say about it. And judging from what I seen. In that, uh, you know, Google map, you know, when yeah. I was there, that little screen record or whatever, I'm just the area just looks a lot different than what I thought. Yeah, just like, just like, just like you were saying, I, seen, I thought it was an area off the side of the road, you know, like, the, and to let you guys know, we actually been new, we been new the area, yeah, we just got a hundred percent confirmation. Well, I told them, I, I had already world. told yeah. them though, it yeah. was an open area, like yeah. it was like an open wooded. I told them, yeah, this. like you can tell this is I a told very them sloppy. Wanted to get rid of the body right now, type of thing. But the I thing have is this, though, no clue when why I they was did when this. I was when I was shown pictures on Instagram of uh, like the area, like the wooded area. I guess somebody had went back there and took a picture of the wooded area, whatever. I'm thinking that it was off the side of the road somewhere, though. I didn't think it was like in a neighborhood. Nah, that that, 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 that I didn't weird, know, bro. You might want to. This is in a, a neighborhood. You might want well to put it in a dumpster or something. That's crazy. Like, man. why'd you put it there? That was very weird. And the fact that the police had to be led there. You know what I mean? Like, even nobody knew where it was. That motherfucker would still be missing. Yeah, right he now. would be. Like, he would that's be. the show, man. Illinois is a fucked up state. It's a fucked up state that deals that's with that. a lot of crime. There's a lot of corruption going on. Up on the upper tier of the thing. So when it comes to solving crime, they don't do it. They can't they, do they it. They don't. You literally, have, you, literally, you literally have to give yourself up. For them to know anything. You literally have to come out and say, hey, I did it. 
And here's all the proof you Bro, need. Bro, check this out. Like, that's what you have in, to do there Chicago, to get convicted. In Chicago, there's this same dude going around murdering prostitutes, taking their organs out, organs leaving up. them in dumpsters. So not only is he calling up prostitutes, he's not even really calling them up, it looks like, to you know have sexual intercourse with yeah, them. Yeah, he's, he's calling, calling them up to get their, or, to get their organs. He's, he's, he's like, and, and you know what they do in Chicago, right? Certain times, right, they don't just remove the organ. See, this guy, he knows what he's doing. He knows yeah. how to remove the organ and put it on ice. Sometimes they just take the whole person. Yeah. They'll take the whole person. I was watching this. I, I was subscribed to this channel, right, the people that were homeless. And there was this young kid, very, you know, very uh, well-spoken kid. I think but he was 17 years old. And I was very disgusted by the fact that he was homeless. He said he'd been homeless since he was 15 years old. And he was talking about... um. He, he's real he's real afraid to go to sleep you know in certain areas like he goes to sleep in a tent in the woods to kind of be hidden off from people because he said that if he goes to sleep in like an alley somewhere or whatever he, like he might wake up in somebody's house and pe somebody's removing his organs and the guy was saying um that, that was interviewing him was saying man you only see that stuff in movies and he was like he looked he kind of gave a guy a look like he see that kid knew what time it was he knew what time it was I wish he, that kid the best man i hope he found a way out of that fucking situation he was in even though there is no way out of it they're literally like, oh god, no, no, I don't, I don't even want to get started on that homeless shit. But a side note is, what what kind of annoys me about the fans and the people about this case? It's like you guys just wanted to know. You guys didn't really care about what happened to them. Exactly. It's like you guys just wanted to see the result. When they okay, got enough so information, they walked away. Done. That's fucked up, man. Yeah. Nobody is reporting on this at all. Nobody, not one YouTuber is still reporting on this. Everybody else grabbed it and moved on. They clouded up off of it and moved on. Exactly. Dark Cloud, the only person that's coming out with new info, that's reporting new stuff, that's coming out with new information, and only he's getting, obviously. The family is constantly sending threats and sending all types of stuff, DMs, all this crazy shit. They're doing that because they know what time it is they know we we, I mean, we got the drop on a lot of stuff exactly but it doesn't matter they can do whatever they want to man at the end of the day y'all your snitch about, ass we didn't do anything right all this stuff is public information they exactly. put all this stuff out there themselves they told on themselves they did that right they put it out there that they're, they're in custody now why because of themselves they did that they told the wrong people all this stuff is public info a lot of it is. Exactly. It's because people don't know how to go about finding anything. It's because they don't look for it. They don't care. This guy, at the end of the day, this guy is, is, is dead. You know, he's gone. He ain't coming back. He was a rapper that was murdered brutally by some weirdos. And it was very strange, and everybody was very confused at first. It hasn't even been a month since we found out the news about this. But all of a sudden, it's, it's old news. Why? Why is this old news, man? This should not be old news. This should be in the forefront on everybody's mind. I know Illinois is a fucked up place, but when does this type of stuff ever happen? But I guess, you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, he's dead and the killers are apprehended. Exactly. I guess there's nothing you can do about it, but it's just kind of strange. This isn't getting any media coverage. It's not getting any reports. It's not getting talked about at all. That's, 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 that's kind of disheartening in a way, especially if you were a fan of this guy. All right, man, just comment, rate, subscribe. We said a mouthful right there. Peace.